Here is an example of what we are doing. This is an air layering which is in progress. And I will show you in a minute how we actually do the air layering. This large Japanese maple, which is about 12 feet tall, has been produced from an air layering. These are the materials we use for air layering. We use clear plastic sheet and then sphagnum moss. This is sphagnum moss that uh, is used for hanging baskets and we have either string or wire to tie the thing up. We also use a bit of hormone rooting powder to speed up the rooting process. We have some sharp knives to remove the bark and uh, that really is all that we need. These maples are six to eight feet tall and we grow them to make bonsai. Now to make bonsai, we only need a tree which is about a foot or so tall so rather than just waste the rest of the six or seven feet, what we do is we air layer the top so we have another tree about five to six feet ready made to grow into another bonsai later on. So on this tree, there's a nice leader coming out from here. So I will air layer at this point so that I will remove the top. To air layer, we remove the bark. So if this trunk is about one inch in diameter, we will take about three quarters of an inch or one inch of bark away from the trunk. We remove the bark down to the cambium. After removing the bark, we will then apply some hormone rooting powder just at the point where the roots are expected to grow. The roots will come out from here. I'll wet it again and apply some hormone rooting powder there. And then we will put the bag of moss around the tree. You need a big handful of moss because it's going to be a big ball of moss around the roots. So the roots will come from the top portion, not from below. The roots will come from here. The theory behind air layering why the tree will send roots out is like this. By removing the bark, you're stressing the tree and the tree thinks that it's going to die because it's no longer able to support the top part of the tree because we remove the bark. But when we put moss, wet moss around it, the wet moss is going to supply the moisture to the top portion of the tree and to facilitate the supply of moisture to the top part of the tree the tree will send out roots to suck the water up and that is why I think the tree will send out roots to support the tree not all species of trees will air layer Scots pines and most pines, except the uh, Kokono white pine, will never root from air layering. Junipers root easily from air layering. Uh, hornbeams, beech, these are the species that root from air layering. So that is a complete air layering. After about six or eight weeks, if you've done it well, roots will come out. And when the roots come out, you will be able to see the roots. We will show you one that we've done about six weeks ago and it's already rooted. Now this one was done about eight weeks ago and it has rooted because I can see some roots at the bottom. So once it's rooted, I can cut it off with a saw. The bottom part is now going to be the bonsai with a nice thick trunk and this top part we're going to grow on and we will show you the roots that have come out from the air layering that we have done. The advantage of using clear plastic is that with clear plastic you can see when the roots have come through.
here are the roots you can see look at the roots coming out these, these have all rooted so there's a mass of roots underneath and we're going to plant this in a little more sphagnum moss the seventh air layering we are now going to put it up in a pot and for that we're going to use sphagnum moss as the rooting medium we use sphagnum moss because roots will find their way into the moss more easily than it does through ordinary soil sphagnum moss is much dearer than ordinary soil or compost but it's well worth it because the plant will really thrive in sphagnum moss after potting we prefer to remove some of the foliage because if you have too much foliage the tree makes excessive demands on the root system and because the root system is not fully developed yet it will struggle to survive by removing the leaves which is very very important you make less demands on the roots and therefore the success of the air layering will be assured if you didn't do this the, the upper part will dry up these are air layerings that we've done just a couple of weeks ago and you can see that we've stood them in this trough of water we only fill the trough to about one inch so that the, just the foot of the pot is sucking up the water and you can see the roots already appearing through the sphagnum moss this air layering was removed from the tree a month ago planted in sphagnum moss and just look at the roots that have formed in just one month so this is the complete process of air layering i now have a twin trunk tree that can be turned into a bonsai and if i want to make further air layerings i can air layer more from the top and i will have an endless supply of maples Thank you.